So I've had a friend ask me how he could uh, easily and inexpensively create a video on his Mac. Uh, he knows that I use Premiere Pro. I told him the iMovie, of course, still is the standard. Now, listen, folks, I'm not an iMovie. Uh, yeah, I use Premiere Pro all the time. That's what I use to do my video editing. I know that iMovie is a very excellent program that is totally capable of doing what my friend wants. So I'm going to start iMovie. Uh, and it's, it's right now you can't see the that part of the screen, but it's in. Uh, it has a purple star with the um, a camera inside it. You can just do from your finder. You can do a. You're not your finder, but your launcher. You can on a Mac. You can find it. So I'm, I'm, I've just opened up iMovie, and it has this this kind of thing screen here that you can do new project button. Pro anyway, I'm gonna say continue here, and I'm gonna bring probably the same media back in. You see, you'll have an import media button here, or you can go up here and file and import media. Again, there are better tutorials than this, but this will at least just show my friend in a very non-judgmental way how to get over this. Now, I have my media that I'm going to use for this video on a hard drive called Rapid. It might be on your hard drive. It might be on your desktop. It might be someplace in your favorites. It's wherever you've made your directory and drug your video into it. And as you see here, you just need the MP4 videos. Now, he has a GoPro, a GoPro Hero 4 that he's using. So it'll make files like this. And inside that, that Hero 4 folder, when you go to offload these, um, it'll have little LRV files and things like that. You don't need those, just the ones that say .mp4 at the end of them. These are the high quality versions. So I, what I've done, I could have navigated to any place, but just, just so you know, the Rapid is where I've got these. And it's a, it's a, a solid state drive. So I'm going to go here and use the same uh, same bit of video here. I'll grab about five or six pieces of video and I'll import. I could have done as many as I want to. Only file supported will be in routine and continue. Okay, okay. Sounds fine to me. So it looks like all these were supported. They're all in paid for. Now you start out, you have a timeline down here already. You can see it's an area for you to drag video into it. So I'm going to, you can either click on these. Uh, I'm just going to do a Command A, Command A to select all of those, or I could have just drug over all of them like that, right? But Command A does it as well, and uh, and you know, I'm going to drag them down here onto the line. And so there are each of those clips. Now they show up as the small boxes, but you can you can zoom in there and look at them a little closer if you want to to see what's there. And the reason I chose this video is it, it gives a good example of just some things you might want to do. Uh, when you're editing some videos. So of course you can see this this little line here is your time it's where you are in the timeline. So let's look at this piece of video that I've got here to start. I'm gonna hit play. Okay, it's pretty good. Now let's say I want to not start that video there. Let's say I want to start right where it's at right now. Or I want to drag to a place where I want maybe I want to start right at this point. You can either go to the beginning of the video and just hover over it and then just click it and pull. And then that will trim it. There's also another way you can do this. Let's say I want to go to this point right about here. That's far enough, okay? You can also go to where your line is here. You can right click on it. And you see here you've got split clip or command B. So command B could work in the future, but I'm going to go ahead and say uh, split clip right there. Let's say I don't need any of the rest of this video here. Yeah, maybe, maybe I need maybe I need it from this point on, but I don't need this middle part. I'm going to do Command B, Command B, that split the clip again. I'm going to delete this part here, right? And then you see it automatically del ripple deletes it and pulls it back. So now I've got this clip going from here. If I hit play, and then it jumps all back to the other part of the clip, back, right? Let's say I stop it right here. I'm going to grab the, I'm going to grab the back right here. See, so I got I navigate to this point and I hold uh, just uh, I'm not even holding anything. I'm just put my cursor over that. Then I right click. And, excuse me, left click, left click, and pull back here to the arrow, and let go, and that has made that clip for me. Now here's an interesting piece of video because I shot this video that the GoPro did not uh, register that I was doing that side down video. So I'm going to go here to this point, and I'm going to tighten that up there. I don't want to use that first part, but I do want to use this, but I want it to be oriented the right way. So I'm going to click on this piece of video, see the yellow is around it now, and I'm going to rotate that. So with the clip, clip selected, I'm supposed to be able to go to the crop tool here. And you see you have the, re, the uh, rotate here underneath the crop tool. So you can rotate this video this way and this way. Now I've got it oriented the right way. 
So uh, I'm, I'm gonna have a bit of this video going here. And you know, maybe that's enough right there. So I'll go ahead and right click or do Command V again, Command V. I'm going to delete the rest of this video and pull the next clip up. Now one of the things we should look at here is uh, the color on these videos. It's a little bit washed out, isn't it? I'm going to click on this particular clip. You've got sort of an auto thing up here. If you hover over it, you see it says you can automatically improve the quality of the video. And that might have improved it a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and click on the color as well, this color correction here. And I absolutely love this tool here. You can, if I've, if I've blown it out a little bit, you can change the range here. You can change the uh, saturation, or not saturation, but the contrast from both the low end and the high end. You can change your saturation over here. That's what this does to make it just little pop a little bit more. You probably don't want to make that too much. You can make it warmer or cooler looking from here. So you can really do a lot of great stuff right here from, from this little button. Let's say we go to this next clip. And let's see, I want to start here behind my, this is my buddy Jamie Griffin. I'm just going to get him to pull this over here. And we'll get Jamie walking just a little bit. Whoops, it jumped ahead of me here. Let's go back. And we'll hit play. He knows, he knows the guys that own this place. Really? He said, oh, Jerry, so they live out in Indiana. He said, now, if I didn't want that audio, I could take, get rid of that audio as well. Uh, you can right click on here and you can see that you can detach the audio and delete it. I'm going to leave it for this. This is uh, my buddy. He just went to a meeting that he wants to be able to publish. And he wants to be able to edit it a little bit. So I'll go forward here to the next part of this clip. And let's say we want to put a little bit of Jamie walking here. I'll pull that in. And I'm going to go forward to what I think I want. And stop right about there. And do the command B again. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And so now we've got a sample of a. Uh, this is kind of cool. This is some, some backward walking video. <laughs> So let's do a little bit of that, right? I'll we'll come in at this point right here. Right when we come in, I think that's pretty high. And then we'll stop right about there. And I'll do the Command B. And then I'm going to forward this video to where it turns around the other way. There it is. Now I'm going forward. So let's go ahead and do that piece of video. So to, to uh, test it, we'll go here. <coughs> There's my cough. Let's say I want my cough out of there. Pull that forward where the cough is gone. Now we're on I 40. Yeah. Okay, so now I'll clip this. Again, I can right click or just do Command B. Split clip. We'll delete this clip. I do have one more clip, but we'll just delete that. We don't need it. We've got enough video again. Uh, maybe I don't like the color of this one. I'm going to go back up under color again. I'm going to saturate it a little bit. And here again, I'm going to change a little bit of that contrast. I do think. Just a little bit to to uh, light out that day. That's how you control your mid tones. You know, all your, your contrast. So it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Okay, we can live with that. So now we've got a piece of edited video here. We want to output it. So what we're going to do? We're going to say, I'm going to go up here under File. I'm going to go to Share. And I can do YouTube. It will take me through the steps to put it on YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook. But I'm going to go ahead and do File for now. I just want it to go to a file. And I can tell, since I shot this in 4K, I could leave it in 4K, I could switch it to 1080p, whatever. I'm going to leave it in 4K. you got different qualities here, medium, high, low. High works good. Uh, you know, ProRes, if you want to be the very highest quality, let's say you're going to try to use this for a movie or something, then you might want to save it in ProRes. I don't think it's necessary for a GoPro video. I know it'll look fine. Compress, I'm going to use better quality because I do like better quality. And I'm going to say uh, next, so I'm going to tell this where to go. Now, if it, if you didn't have this folder, I got Jamie's Forest uh, Trail, whatever, it's selected. But if I wanted to go to another place, I'd just go here. Let's say I want to put it on the Rapid Drive, or let's say I want to put it on My Documents. I go to My Documents, I pick a folder, whatever. But it is perfectly good going to Jamie's Forest. We'll call this My Movie Test, and we'll save it. And it's going to be building that in the background now. One thing that happens when you're using Adobe Premiere is it lets you know what your progress is. This really does not. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you don't get to see what your progress is. You have to just open up the location where you are and see when it's finished. So I am going to, I'm going to open up the rapid drive though and drag it over here so we can see what's going on. Here's Jamie's forest with unusual trees. 
and you can see right down here is where the movie is being rendered out. And so you know, while, while it's in this stage here, until this quick time thing here shows the, the total size, you don't want to mess with this. So if I actually closed it for a minute and then brought it back open, you can see it's progressed to 171 megs. So it's building it as we talk. I close it again, open it again, it's to 171. It'll be, uh, what is it now, uh, 207. So I'm going to spin down again and look. We should be just about uh, 437 megs. It's going to be a bigger video than I thought. Let's see. Now, the, it takes longer the more you put color grading and things like that on it, but there we go. Plus the fact we had to, to, we had to uh, spin some of that video around, turn it upside down. So here should be our video. Should be a nice 4K bit of video. It's not even going to fit on the screen here, but there it is. Uh, and if I look at it there, it looks like it's doing just fine. Now I'm recording this at Camtasia, so if it's a little herky-jerky, it might be the fault of Camtasia. Uh, it's, it's ability to spin it, but you can go review your video, pull back and forth. Looks like it did the color grading really nicely. That change that. Audio sounds pretty nice. Here's that uh, part where we color graded there at the end. And there you go. So now you've got a file that you can share with me. This is my movie test that I made here. You can call it whatever you want to call it. And you could share it on YouTube. You could share it with friends. Uh, you're not going to be able to email a file that size. Typically, you deliver it by putting it on YouTube someplace where people could view it or Vimeo or some other service that provides video delivery. And that's it, my friends. Uh, that's how, if I were using the freest, the cheapest way to do it, I would use iMovie. Again, I'm not an iMovie expert. Forgive me if I've messed up here and, and told somebody, given somebody the wrong advice, but hopefully this will help my buddy. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.